Libyan visa. Official. Pull over for inspection. Sorry, sir, I can't do that. Pull over for inspection! How willing are you to die for your country? I'm ready to go right here, right now. Let me start by saying congratulations on this movie. Thank you. Excellent work. Thank you. Um, talk, there must be a day or two you're always going to remember about making this. Memorable moments from filming. Right. Can you share any? Right. <laughs> I feel like I could go through it day by day by day. Every day was a surprise. Every day was a shock. Something different. Something new. Um, um, you know, I, 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 you know, I'll just tell a quick one. You know, uh, uh, I have a thing where you know I've, uh, I've done a lot of stunt work, but I, I never want to be the actor to beg to do stunt work. And um, so we're we're starting the 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 advance on on the uh, the diplomatic compound, and uh, he 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 put in um, uh, my a friend of mine. I'm not gonna mention his name. He's a former Navy SEAL who doubled me for some of the stunt work. And uh, um, and I just told Michael, I was like, look, man, um, I, I'm never gonna say this to you again but I can do this, I'm comfortable doing it. And I don't want to be the one to beg to uh, uh, be put in. So I'll let you decide when you want to put me in. And he goes, yeah, okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah, get in there. And then by the end of the film, I'm sitting there going, take me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Are you sure? Are you sure this is safe, man? And, and this is the amazing thing about this, this film, is that Michael went back to old school filmmaking to do this movie. It had to be real, it had to be dirty, it had to be gritty. What you see, we, we did. We did it. It's not. It's not CGI'd. All the action sequences, the 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 armor, the fire, the uh, explosions. That's real, man. And Michael is very concerned with making sure that everyone's safe, the cast and the crew. Um, and so we we did. We worked fast, but we worked safe. And um, um, I'm, I like that, man. I'm proud of that. I'm. I'm I like the fact that uh, what you see is what you get in this movie. Well, it does feel that way when you're yeah. when you're watching it. Um, you sort of shared a little bit about. Uh, I'm a big fan of Michael Bay, and I think when he is given material like this, he really shines as a filmmaker. Yes. Um, yes. Talk a little bit about getting to work with him, and maybe what surprised you about collaborating with him, besides uh, the stunt work. Right. I, um, um, you, you know, this this movie. You talk about when he gets a piece of material. You know, and and here's the circumstance: we have a story that's not being told. You uh, you you have a director who is a, uh, you know, he's a top five action director. I mean, over the last 25 years, he's made some iconic action films. He's, he's, he's got a beautiful visual style. He is uh, 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 not, I don't think there's anybody like him. And then you give him a story that he's passionate about. He has a close relationship to the SEAL teams. He's, he's, he, he wants to tell a story like this, but also he wants to change things up. He's been doing a certain type of work for the last few years. And he, he is an artist, is looking for a shift something else to to be excited about to be passionate about and so here is it's, this it's it's a great opportunity for him and, and and it's risky and I like risks and he likes risks so um, I, I like the setup of it and and working with him what you find out is that he works fast man he works really fast and he works loud and it is intense but what you also learn is that he's actually a, a pretty quiet guy on his own uh the superhero genre is the most popular thing on the planet. Yeah. But here you are playing a real life hero. Um, talk a little bit about the pressure and responsibility that comes with this kind of a task. Yeah, Tyrone Tyrone Woods uh, laid down his life that night to help other people, uh, along with Glenn Doherty, Sean Smith, and Ambassador Chris Stevens. And um, so there, there was a tremendous amount of pressure uh, for all of us to get the story right, but but also for me to, to, to be able to uh, uh, tell Tyrone's Part of the story, and um, you know, I, I I I purposely stayed away from his family uh, before filming and during filming, and 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 now since we've been in contact, um, and the only thing I can say is I just hope that uh, uh, I was able to pull this off with respect. Is there anything? Obviously, you're researching the story based on uh, you know, real life events. Was there anything that really surprised you to learn? as you were researching and getting ready for the role? I think the surprising thing is that no one talks about this story. People have been talking about all this other stuff, you know? And, and uh, you know, I, I, I was talking to Tyrone Wood's mother the other day, and, and she said I, she just hopes that, that people will put all that other stuff aside just to listen to the real story. Um, you know, what these guys did that night was amazing. It was selfless. And a lot of people lost their lives that night, and I think it's important to remember that that no one really won. 
No one, there was no winners coming out of this. Everyone kind of lost. Everyone lost something. Everyone lost family members. There's, there's grieving all over the place. And, and I heard uh, Tonto say the other day, but he goes, you know what? There's something yet to be learned from this. There's something good that can come out of this. And um, so I hope everybody can put aside all their personal agendas and just sit down and listen to the story. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, man. And congratulations on Good the film. Good to see you, dude. For real. Thank you. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.